Like many others, I have always had this dream destination vacation. However, unlike most, I wasn't really sure if this place actually existed. And if it did, how do I get there? But that all changed this year. So welcome, I'm glad you're here, and I hope you enjoy this video about me visiting my dream destination in Japan. Good morning everyone and sorry if it's noisy. I'm in Starbucks, but this is a very exciting Starbucks. The one at Shin Yokohama Station, which houses the Shinkansen. And the Shinkansen, or express train, equals a trip. Today we are going on the most important trip for me in my entire life in Japan. You guys have no idea how long I've been wanting to go here, but couldn't. Can't believe it's finally happening. I've been in Japanese culture for like a really long time, since I was like super duper young. Y'all might feel me late at night, you got the TV on with the volume turned all the way down so your mom don't catch you watching the little anime shows Yu Yu Hakusho, Cowboy Bebop, Inuyasha. The trip that I'm going on today is actually related to an anime movie that I saw when I was young. And finally, after many years, I got to go on my dream vacation to the island where the movie took place. <laughs> Level of excitement is up here, but you know, energy's down here because I haven't had my coffee yet, but I'm so excited. Couldn't find a way to get to this place for so long. And finally, the opportunity came up a couple of weeks ago while I was just researching as always, trying to see if maybe this year I can go. And I found a way. I want to make sure I get some really good shots, so I brought all of my cameras and my most expensive tripod, Ash. It is 180 bucks one way. <laughs> Times that by four, oh my gosh. It'd be worth it though, it'd be worth it. Money comes and goes, opportunities rare. We're waiting for the train, we're gonna go get some snacks, and then it's off to Osaki Shimojima. Attention please, we will soon arrive at the Hiro Terminal. Passengers transferring for Yasuura or Takehara, please change trains here. Thank you for using JR. Where are we now? We're here. So we are now at Hiro Station. This is where I'm going to take a taxi to go directly to the island. Basically, this place is so far away. I was like, we have to break up this trip. I can't go directly there from Tokyo. I think I might die. So we took the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Hiroshima and stayed in Hiroshima for a few days. From Hiroshima Station, JR Line to Hiro Station, which is where we are now. And then you have a couple of options. Two stops back is Takahara, which is like the major town for like all the ferries. So you can take a ferry directly to the island. It's hard to see, but if you zoom in on Google Maps, there's actually a bridge that connects all of these islands together. A lot of people think there aren't and that you have to take a boat, but no, you can actually drive. There are some bus options, or you can do what I'm doing, which is taking a taxi from Hiro Station all the way to where we're going. I'm doing the taxi because this is the most important trip of my life. I don't care. Also, um, I don't want to be sick. I get car sick, and for some odd reason, buses make me the most sick. No, boats and then buses. It's kind of far. It's about an hour, like 48 minutes. If I can avoid getting sick, you know, I'm gonna try. And I just want to like take my time, be able to look out the window. If I need him to stop, he can stop. I estimated how much it would cost. It said 65 to 75 dollars. Right now with the current exchange rate, that's gonna be a lot cheaper. It's probably gonna be like 40 to 50 bucks. We'll see. Wait till we actually get there. All right, time to go to the island. Let's change this.
Just checked in. She let us check in early. It's 12 o'clock. We weren't supposed to check in until three. So in the daytime, the front of the house is a cafe, like right on the main street. And then the back is the house. And then in the back of this house is another house. It's very confusing. <laughs> Even though this town was registered as an important historic district, I'm guessing not many tourists travel here. The reason why I could not come to this island for so long was because it is nearly impossible to find somewhere to stay. Every year, I would check the internet and see if anything changed or if there were any new hotels or something. I was beginning to think it was impossible. I did manage to find two places, both not ideal, one extremely overpriced, and the other was like a glamping site that was really far from the main area. This year, to my surprise, while searching Searching on the internet, I somehow found some Japanese blog that had a link to this house. It honestly seemed way too good to be true. A historic house in the historic district of Mitarai. Completely private for a very good price. Uh, it was on a website I was very unfamiliar with. Everything was in Japanese. I quickly booked and paid. The reservation had to be approved by the owner. It was approved. I was like, yes, let's go. Not gonna lie, I was very skeptical that it was even real. I had a feeling we were gonna arrive and there wasn't gonna be any house. Somebody easily could have scammed me on the internet and just took all my money. But yeah, we rolled up to the house and it was real. She actually just opened the previous month. Talk about lucky. Even the floors, it smells new. You smell it? Mm-hmm. Four poops. What do you do in there? Poops. So the room is upstairs. Right when you walk in is this adorable vanity. Look at this. I think it's gonna be my spot. Hey girl, hey. You can't get up. The best part though is the front is just a gigantic window. The weather's nice today and it's not guaranteed to be nice tomorrow. So we're gonna go out right now and go like look around the town. Let's go. I didn't do my makeup though. So I think I'm gonna like freshen up. And I can't believe we found a place this freaking nice in the historic district of Mitarai. It's not on any like booking.com, no Airbnbs. It's on some Japanese website. So I'll just link it down below. You do have to speak Japanese to reserve and all that stuff, but just use Google Translate if you need it. But when you get here, you might have a little bit of trouble if you can't speak no Japanese. So that's the place right there. I just got changed, took a little shower, a cold shower. It is burning hot. We do have a lot of stuff on our list. However, I don't really care anymore. As soon as I got here, I was like, yeah, it's just a little bit too beautiful to do anything. The plan is walk around for as long as we can or until we pass out from the heat and uh, see as much as we can. I'm just trying to process if this is even real or am I dreaming? Can you pinch me? Yeah. It's real? buildings like brah as i explained this town has like one of the most famous historic districts ever so after the whole disaster thing happened and the government came to go check out the damage and they realized that the town was like almost perfectly preserved that's when they named it a special world heritage site i'm sweating bricks after i just took a bath this building right behind me is a historic brothel i definitely want to hit up the brothel but it's not open i don't mean like open but you know what i mean like i can you know what I mean. Oh, man. <gasps> Still the most.
most beautiful place I've ever seen. We're still walking around. It's still 110 degrees. A bird pooped on my head. Uh, we decided not to go to the original location we were gonna walk to because we're melting. Is there still poop? It was like a whole crunch turd. And then it was on the top. It was so hot that it dried out. We wanted to just like explore and walk around, but like as we're walking, if we are walking towards something that was on my list, I'm like, ooh, let's go there. But like a lot of things on my list are like, no, 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 no. <laughs> up the hill. Ugh. I don't know if you see this sweat. I do not have up the hill body today. Or shoes. Or shoes. It's just hot. No restaurants or anything pretty much open past five. Past three. <laughs> We're gonna head to the grocery store before we starve to death. I think they close at like five or six. Gonna get some ingredients. She gave us some tomatoes from her garden. So I think I'm gonna make some pasta tonight for dinner. Italian tomatoes, she said. Everywhere we turn, like, do you see that? Like what? And then across this way, bruh. <laughs> just like, yeah. If you're looking for the most beautiful place to do absolutely nothing, you've found it. <laughs> We're just identifying all the landmarks. It's just been unreal. It's been hot and unreal. Hot and so hot in here. had to wash my hair not because it was dirty but because I just sweat in it that many times it smelled like puppy like a wet puppy who's been outside and I really hate washing my hair on vacation because it takes a lot you know to get it back looking sleek you gotta shampoo it condition it deep condition it air dry it and then flat iron it because then it gets really frizzy and then style it like I ain't got time for that on vacation but we gonna have to have time today we just got back in from walking around oh my like I don't even know how it the hot. I mean, I was having a blast, don't get me wrong, but good gosh, it was hot. My wig was literally, it looked like this when I came inside, but just sweat. So yeah, I washed it and we're gonna go walk to the grocery store to get food because there is absolutely no restaurants open right now. I guess we cook in this trip, but I was expecting that anyway, so it's not a big deal. Since we're walking the store, I thought it'd be okay to wash my hair and it'd probably like dry from the heat, which is 16 minutes away. I hope it just doesn't also get wet with sweat all over again on the way back. How is this real? Oh my god! This is real. like the easiest thing to cook when you don't want to buy a million ingredients. So I'm gonna make a meat sauce tonight and then a cream chicken tomorrow. Chocolate mint, bun fetti. What is that? Gelato chocolate with macadamia nut, rum raisin, strawberry cheesecake. Oh, this is hard. Fragrant almonds with, why are they fragrant? What makes them fragrant? We're not supposed to kill bees, right? I don't know what to do. 
Ash is so useless. I caught it. No more cooking with the door open. Good morning, everyone. It's day two here on the island. Just got ready. My dress is inspired by the koi fish outside. She lets us feed the fish in the morning. And now I want fish. I'm like hesitant to tell y'all today's plan because I have no idea how any of this is gonna go. The plan is eat anything. Take a taxi up to this super famous observation deck that's in the anime. You guys are gonna hear me reference this anime the whole time because it's, pre it's pretty much why I'm here. It's an hour walk, which is totally fine actually, but not in this. In this heat, it would probably kill us. So uh, I'm gonna try to find a taxi and there's where, uh, and there's where the confidence goes out the window. <laughs> That's the plan in my head. Y'all gonna watch this video and be like, dang, Sunday. <laughs> I really hope that's what ends up happening because that's what I planned. Is that a mosquito? That's a dead mosquito, buddy. That's a big mosquito. We found like a whole bunch of spots from the show. We're gonna go back and like take photos, you know. Please enjoy these curls in my hair while they're here because as soon as I walk outside, they're gonna be gone. <laughs> My plan didn't go to plan. Um, there aren't any taxis around here, but the uh, owner of this cafe and the place that we're staying at, she managed to like pull out y'all, I forgot what we even call them, the phone book, and like found a taxi that will come over here and take us there. It's so sweet. We just got a coffee. I, I was willing to walk, but Ash said I won't make it. Wow, what are we making? We're making some eggplants tonight. <laughs> After a 20 minute taxi ride through the mountains, literally up the most dangerous looking hill I've ever seen, we've made it. It is the highest point. Oh, I don't know what we was thinking. Let's walk up. Yeah, right. Oh my God, that car struggled to get up here. Uh, we thought we were gonna walk down. And as we're going up, I'm like, I think it's actually impossible to walk down. We're gonna die. And then we realized we don't have any water. We ain't got no food. Ain't no reception up here. And the taxi driver was like, hey, do you want me to wait for you guys? I'm just like, angels exist. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I wish it wasn't as hazy because it won't show up on camera, but I can see it with my eyes, but I can't see it, you know, on the camera. I have to enter the scene from the movie so you guys can see what I'm looking at. So accurate. dangerous bugs up here already. We ain't even made it up. I think we're gonna just try and hike this thing. Yeah. We gotta go over the rules. If there's a snake or a bear, I got you. If there's a spider, it's your turn. This was not the outfit for this. Oh man. And he just hiking like it ain't nothing. I think the real question is, why did we both think it was okay to wear orange with all these bugs? It was a shrine. Help me. No, 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 no. 